if you're working at Ikeja, why do you stay at, why would you stay at Aja or Lekki? But if you bring that one million to Lagos, I'm very sure that you cannot get that particular house for that amount. So you people should stop saying people are exaggerating in Lagos. You know what it takes to actually stay in Lagos. I tell people that the, the money you spend during the um outsourcing process in Lagos, yeah, it's a lot. Like it is a lot. As in I was like, where are you people seeing money in this Lagos? I've heard stories of people that actually had to pay for outstanding bills when they moved to a new apartment. So again, do not pay to any agent in Lagos. Pay to your landlord or maybe the manager. But at least you will know that this is the manager of the landlord. So this next one is very important. I, mean, I think in all of this point I've made, it is the most important. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's like a first time I'm seeing my face, you're definitely welcome. My name is Bimi and I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, please don't make it your last. Click on the subscribe button right now and the notification bell button so that you can know when I drop amazing content. And if this is your first time, you are the reason why I keep going. Do you get? Thank you so much for always consuming my content and always watching my videos. You are the real MVP. Like I tell you guys all the time, like you are the real MVP. So, once again guys, if you are a new subscriber here, maybe you came to my channel through my awesome team videos. Thank you so much and um, I want you to stick around. Please don't go anywhere. Please watch my videos. Subscribe and um, turn on the notification bell so that you can know when I drop content for you people. So in today's video, as you've seen in the thumbnail and the title, I want to talk about um things you should consider things you put in place before actually ask something in lagos nigeria so if this is something that you're interested in you definitely want to keep on watching so um the first um point that i'm going to make is the first thing that you should consider is um your proximity first why are you moving like not like why are you moving like you can move you can also want you can get your house but if you're like getting a house because you want to like maybe start a business on your own in your space it's fine and then you have to put into consideration where your customers are if if your target audience are on the island i don't think okay you can actually like stay on the island if your audience is if most of your customers are on the mainland i don't see a reason why you should stay at aja you get so now if let's come back to if you are a 95 fiver like you are you do 95 jobs and then you you are just bent on staying saying i want to stay in this place you'll be frustrated so there was this time that I, in January I was doing an internship and then I used to go from Bega to Falomo Ikoyi every single day and I knew how <laughs> how stressful it could be. Most of the time I leave home very early in the morning, like around that six, because I take I take big BRT from Bega. I leave home around that six so that I can get to work by nine. So now I spend basically three hours in the on the road. And you know that before that time, I would have woken up at home to like dress up and all of that. So now we get to work and we leave, we leave work by five and we spend the same three hours in getting back home. That means I've spent six of, of my life in traffic. This is not a shade to people that actually like, I know that there are some conditions where you actually like, I just have to stay on the mainland and work on the island and all of that. I was in that condition as well. Maybe you are staying with somebody. Maybe you don't have money for us right now. It's fine. But some people here, yeah, they just want to be like, I want to stay on, the, on that island. I mean, fine. Staying on the island is only my problem. But if it is like very, like not close to where you're staying, like I don't see any reason to stay on the island. If you're working at Ikeja, why do you stay at, why would you stay at Aja or Lekki? Do you actually like want to go through all those stress every single day? Like some people just want to like say, I want to stay on the island. And some people they be like, I want to work on the island. You want to work on the island? Why? Because it's just want to tell people that you're working on the island. I mean, it's not bad to work on the island. It's not bad to stay on the island. It's not. That's not the point. The point is you have to put your work into consideration before choosing where to stay. You can't just like say, oh, I want to stay in this place just because I like the place. And then your work is very far. Your workplace is very far. You don't know the joy that comes with staying somewhere close to your workplace guys you have no idea i mean you have no idea like when you just wake up maybe you resume by nine you wake up at 7 30 or eight just dress up like maybe it depends on how how, how fast you are with 30 minutes and then your workplace is like 20 minutes from your house it saves you cost it saves you stress and all of that you don't have an idea so be sure that you take a place that is very close to your workplace i mean if you're even if you're working on the island you can still stay on in places around like um maybe yaba where you have to like beat 
Tom Milan Bridge traffic. But like some people are just just bent on that. I want to just walk on there and I want to stay on there. Why? They, like see, there's no. It's I, I feel like it's just pressure and all of that. Because when you are putting your pre yourself on pressure of because I want people to know that I stay on the island. I want people to know that I work on the island. You, it, it's not worth it. Lagos is more stressful than that. I don't think it's worth it from my own perspective though. I don't think it's, it's worth it. So think twice if you're staying on the island and then if you're working on, if, if you're people, a lot of people actually like get work, get a job before they start asking something. Even with the agents will be asking you, do you want to, are you working? Where do you work? So that way they can actually suggest places for you to, to stay. Do you get? When I got my place, I had to like ask like the agent, like how far is this place from this place? And then he said, it's not far, it's so near a bike. I had to like st stop a bike one and ask him like, how much do you take this place from there? And he told me, I was like, okay, great. So like, you don't have an idea how sweet it is to stay very close to where you're where you're working so put this into contribution have your job first and then get a place close to the place unless you have like any financial constraints of not staying in the place but put it into consideration don't just take hours because you just want to take hours make sure that these things are in place like know your workplace and and then just let your where you're staying be close to your workplace or maybe your business or whatever it is that you're coming to do or maybe whatever it is that you're doing in Lagos. So now moving on to my second point. My second point is guys, please don't pay to agent. Please do not pay to agent. Do not pay to agent. Personally, I have always been of the opinion that whenever I'm ready to like pay for my house, or ask the agent to like take me to the landlord or maybe anything because i'm not ready to pay to any agent unless like maybe it's just like um a um what's it called i a real estate agent like agency like company like i got when i got the house at aja then there was a lot of process like i had to submit my passport my id card all of those things my offer letter my i, I had to submit all of those things yeah so when i did when I did submit all of those things, it took them some like time to get back to they go, they gave me the apartment. And when they gave me the apartment, they sent the account number. They even sent a mail. It was a mail they sent to me. So they sent the, the account number and everything. And I was like, okay, I was paying the items to do the title's account, right? That one is different. But when you are like talking with an agent directly, and then the agent is not telling you to pay. Hey, wait. See, I've actually had cases of agents giving a room to two people. Like agents giving a room to like two different people like two different people are paying for one room so it happens so it is important that you actually like talk to your landlord like your prospective landlord <laughs> your intending landlord first and say okay ask him questions any questions you have before paying so now again do not pay to agents like do not pay to any any lagos agent don't pay to agents don't pay to agents <laughs> So I hope you know that this is Lagos, and maybe I'm too sensitive. I I don't know, but I've always been of that opinion that, and apart from the inspection fee, even when they brought this this man and said the caretaker, I asked to pay five k for four. I was looking at him like, why? I asked him questions like, this one that will take me to the landlord, and without him, I can't sit down. I said, okay, you want to take your take your money and shall let's go. You get to again, do not pay to any agent in Lagos pay to your landlord or maybe the manager but at least you will know that this is the manager of the landlord right so another point i want to give you guys is ask for outst outstanding views right like <laughs> some houses i've heard stories of houses especially if it's not if it's not a new apartment right ask for outstanding views like okay well, maybe um they are holding money for lights because i've had i've had cases of people that are moving to an apartment and they are, they are the ones paying for the lights that are somebody have used before did you get like it happens a lot in lagos like they've had outstanding payment of life even if it is prepaid ask it is it doesn't matter people too can be like they can hold on prepared as well and like, what people do is maybe if there's like a lot of money that they have to pay maybe like two hundred thousand three hundred thousand they start paying little by little so that they will not like disconnect their lights the Nepal officials will leave and they will after after maybe the next month they come again they pay them some amount of money and then that way they keep like rolling it over and over until the tenants like move out and when the tenants move out the outstanding bills are still there 
so when you come in you are the ones that will pay because there's no how they will disconnect your lights if you don't pay i've heard stories of people that actually have to pay for outstanding bills when they move to a new apartment so ask for outstanding bills like did anybody like ask this question be, before paying ask these questions okay what are the outstanding bills are there any outstanding bills be sure like of, of all these things when i when i first like when i was like, to come to this place it was in my apartment so i didn't have use with outstanding bills so i asked because the marketing um this thing was there was personal personal paper and i was like okay when is it coming when is it going to be ready because you have to tell me i'm paying you for these things you are rendering me a service so i have to ask so again ask for outstanding power supply bills another so another bills as well maybe loma or something ask for outstanding bills or maybe security and all of it. ask for outstanding bills if it's not a new house yeah another another point is i don't know it differs from person to person but personally i don't think i can stay with a landlord so ask them if the landlord is staying there like is landlord staying here like ask them these questions so if the landlord is staying there you know your options some people don't have issues with it, but personally i have issues with it because i don't want somebody to be telling me oh you put this one here not like i want to spoil your house but i don't want to be restricted i mean like you're not controlling me and all of because you are i'm in your house of course i understand their point because if you actually like have money to build your house you won't like look at somebody comfortably doing something that is not i understand but at the same time i cannot stay with a landlord so if you are moving to a new apartment and you are asked something ask them when you get your house ask them is the landlord staying here is the wife staying here who are those staying here is there everything for rent so that they can know so that you can know your options if you are taking it or not personally like i said I cannot stay with the landlord. So this next one is very important. I think in all of this point I've made, it is the most important. Guys, do not pay for a house under construction. Let me re let me repeat that again. Do not pay for a house under construction. When I was at something, like I saw a couple, like if you see my house hunting videos, you would have seen them. If you don't, if you've not seen the, my house hunting videos, check here for the um playlist. You will see the playlist here. Please go and watch it so that you can understand what I'm talking about. I saw a quite number of houses under construction and I had no issues with the fact that, okay, because I feel like, see, one problem about Lagos is when houses are under construction, yeah, they tend to be more available than when they are done. So when they are done with houses in Lagos, the, the, the percentage of you getting a room there is very low. Like the chances of you getting a room there is very very low. So now when houses are under construction, they tend to like you know get people to pay so that they can use that money to like continue the construction. Do you get? But the thing is, it's not like they are growing well with your money, but you can take them longer than they th like than they like promised you. Maybe they said oh, you're going to pay, you're going to finish in three weeks. It might take them like one month or two months. When I was out something like I was telling you guys, I I saw a kind of houses and I was like, this house is not bad like of course it's not bad i can pay but just one reason that i i actually didn't pay for any because he said they're asking for a one year and year for rent or i just feel like i don't like this area or something so i didn't actually pay for any but the last one i i went to i don't even didn't that last one i went to that um they were saying that i have to put on, on and a half year rent i was considering not like i, I have money for one one and a half year but i was still talking to like guys let me even tell you guys like the agent asked me to call the landlord and said, oh, and, and I called him and I was like, sir, can I take, uh, can I pay for one year, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, why are you manipulating me? I said, I want one and a half years. And I'm like, wow, don't worry. <laughs> Not like, I'm, I'm, how am I manipulating you? I'm paying you money that you can see. What's manipulation in that? And I'm telling you that it's only one year I have. Oh, it was like he took loans to build a house. He has to make his money back. I said, okay, no problem. That particular day, I was like, maybe I would take the house. And then when they said maybe three weeks, and I said, okay, fine. So now I was talking to my friend, and my friend was like, I should not pay for the, I should not pay for a house under construction, because when they tell you that they are going to finish in three weeks, forget it, two months, and there's nothing you can do about it, you've already paid. And imagine you pay that amount of money and then somebody is delaying you. I mean, you can just, you can, you can see it. And I, 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 know, I know of somebody that was out, that is currently out something and then she has to like pack her stuff from where she's living because her, her rent is due and they are still not done with the house because I think she had to pay, now she had to pay like extra one month 
to the landlord so that you can stay with her. because they told her about like this one month now they are not done with the house she has to pack her stuff to her sister's place and then she's still not into the house yet is that bad but the problem i have in lagos is the fact that when houses are under construction they tend to be more available when they are no when it's no more under construction forget it would be like a speed of light, especially when the house is good. It would be as if, see, you know, I, I, at some point I was asking question like, where are Lagos people saving money? Because if the, uh, no matter how much the house is, guys, maybe if it's so outrageous, I don't know, shall, but if the house is still like, maybe a bit higher or something, people have taken it, forget it. As in, I was like, where are you people seeing money in this Lagos? <laughs> like, is that crazy? But yeah, um, like I said, Houses are not available when they are done, especially if it's a good house. Like, you are saying, it is gone. No house again, no room again. So now, I'm always in between. If they can so if they can say, okay, if houses can be unavailable after it's done, immediately after it's done. So, what is the... See, when you ask something for in Lagos, and it's just, it's just like... It's just like too emotionally um draining, like I said, because you will be you will be in between should I pay for this house and they will finish maybe more monsha or should I not pay? Because you'll be like if I if I don't pay now this and they finish this house, it would have because by the time they by the time they are building it and they are constructing it, like two people have paid. No, I, I said, like eighty percent of the rooms have been taken. So now when they are done and then it, it, like you know it will be attractive to people. People come and they pay. So it is it is already filled up. It's, it's that bad. Now another point I want to tell you guys is bargain with your agent like on inspection fees. Let me tell you this is a trick that might not work for every agent but it works for me like maybe two or three times. So um, when I went to this agent as really I've paid I was I've paid inspection fee. I was tired. So I told him that I only had three K out of five K and it was like Okay, I should pay for key. I said I don't have four key. I didn't even know where the confidence came from. I said I don't have four key. I was like, okay, I should pay three key. So I paid three key, and then there was another agent that actually like took me around that um, Isheri side in Bega. I told him that uh, please, I don't have money for inspection fee and all of that. And I was like, ah, no problem, come. I was like, hey, nice. It will not work all the time. I'm just telling you that you can cheap it in sometimes, like. Because I don't have inspection fee, but I'm I'm ready to take an apartment. If I send anybody anywhere I like, I'll take it. And if you say they can't do it for free, just tell them that oh, can I pay three thousand naira or maybe three five or something. It works. So try and bargain with your agent sometimes, like on inspection fee, because you are still going to pay for transport fee. So you have to be cost sensitive. Like you have to like be cost sensitive. I tell people that the the money you spend during the um outsourcing process in Lagos, yeah, it's a lot. Like it is a lot that you can you can you can even use the money to buy maybe one television. I'm not joking. I know how much I spent just during the process alone you know, on transport, inspection fee, food, and all of that. I know how much I spent. Do you get so bargain with your agent, talk to them like, oh, can I pay this amount? Oh, I don't have this amount, and all of that. So that way they can actually like um give you a discount if you can so now I, I think i'm done with my tips but i want to address you people that used to say you are exaggerating about you are exaggerating about houses in lagos it cannot be that expensive see you know one thing here yeah? when we say houses are expensive in lagos we are not talking about the price you are not necessarily talking about the price like oh if a house is one million naira, at least let me see the value of the one million in the house Do you, that is the problem it is, the problem is not necessarily about how much it is. It's about the quality of the house. So when I'm saying this house is too expensive, I know what I am saying. I know what I'm talking about. When people say, you are exaggerating about this Lagos. You are exaggerating about... Have you seen a woman in your house in Bagada or Yaba? You will cry. Because you will be like, is this what I'm paying a woman in your for? If I hold a woman in your in another maybe state or town or city, I know, I'm, I know what I'm going to get with it. So now, when we are saying... Hey, See, the good houses are very, very expensive. Wood houses are very, very expensive. And even the bad ones are not in any way cheap. 500k house, that I, I, I put it in my, in my videos. If you, like, go and watch the videos. 500k house. The house was very bad. And I was like, I will pay 500k for this house. If I owe 500k where I was coming from, I know, I'm, I know the kind of house I'm going to get. Right? So when we say houses are very expensive in Lagos, we are not necessarily talking about the price. We're talking about the quality of the house as regards to the price I am paying. If I'm paying two million for a house, I mean, let me know that yes, I'm paying this money. So now, once you get 
good house they now like they increase the price unnecessarily like you'll be getting five million era. like i'm like wow so if you get a house that is like maybe very standard and then it has pop it has kitchen cabinet it has water heater it has good towels everything is there you can be like even self can go for like six hundred thousand naira. like is that bad a self con like and then when you are paying for everything it can be like be 850k or 900k is that not too much for a self con no let's be let's be honest is that not too much for a self con and if it is a maybe substandard you can see it for 400k that's substandard i mean it doesn't have pop it doesn't have kitchen cabinets it's just when, when you enter the kitchen it's just narrow like this nothing is there maybe it's the sink the bedroom nothing is there just the tap and the shower nothing is there 400k and then you're paying for like 700k or 650 total package for the house and when you go for the ones that are not standard you're paying 300k 250k agency fee that's 550k half a million for a bad house so we're not necessarily talking about the price we're talking about the quality and the condition of the house like it's bad and i hope people understand like people stop saying you are you are exaggerating on these houses in the on these prices of house in lagos do you know how much i rented my house in, in this place you rented your house in this place for the same amount yeah no problem but can you call can you like bring the quality together you spend some money in this town to get your house fine good but if you bring that home area to lagos i'm very sure that you cannot get that particular house for that amount so you push to stop saying people are exaggerating in Lagos. You know what it takes to actually stay in Lagos. Especially if, uh, unless if you want to stay in some areas. Some areas are very cheap. Like maybe Kurudu, I heard of Kotun too. Some areas are cheap, right? But if you want to stay in, and if you stay in those areas, and it means that you're probably like uh, making sacrifices. Maybe because you want to go out, you're, if you want to go out, maybe you are working. You, are, you still have to pay for transport fare to go out. And it's just like indirectly proportional to the amount of the house rent you are paying because even me that i stay in somewhere central in lagos i know how much i pay for transport so it is it is almost the same thing right so people should stop saying these things and then just accept that houses in lagos are too expensive i saw viviana case's house she said she got it for i think one point something million era. it was it i think it was a two-bedroom apartment the Palo was very big, the kitchen is very big, and I was like, wow. Ah. Eh? I was like, wow. And it's, it's not even a village. It's not even like somewhere that is like, because I, I, I asked, like, I, I posted it on my story then, and there was something like, it depends on the area. I told the person the area. It's not somewhere that is not central. Or, I don't know about Abuja, but then I was like, this one is one point something in Abuja. Wow. Just wow. Before you can get this one in Lagos, you know how much you're going to spend. Like, so it is. It is not about this, the price. It's about the quality. Like I said. So you guys, I've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like my video, share it with your friends. If you know anybody that's looking for apartments in Lagos, share this video with them. Share my playlist. I also want to play this with them as well. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please stick around don't go anywhere if you're not subscribed and you watch my videos to this point please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell button beside it so that you can know when i drop content if you're not following me on instagram please follow my instagram page as bimileki underscore lifted or just search for my channel name on instagram you see me right so i hope you guys so much and thank you guys for watching my video please comment like and do all those good stuff and um i, I want to see you guys again i want to see you guys again thank you guys for watching my video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye